we're here in Landover, Maryland for this matchup between the Seahawks and the Redskins. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. And, Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, you know, Jim, we had a chance to talk to both teams. We saw they're excited about playing this game. And when you get teams like this, it should be an exciting day. When you look at the matchup at receiver today, we have a couple of guys out there that aren't considered game breakers, but you better be careful because they can still burn you if you're not careful. Yeah, well, these guys have a little bit of everything, Jim. Their size, they got some power, and also quick-footed enough where if they get a chance in the open, open field, they can make you miss. And in this game today, it's, it's all about the wide receiver, so these guys will have a chance to get it done. Kickoff is about to commence. Let's send it down to the field. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Better judgment says, take a knee. Here comes the former Packer, now Seahawk at quarterback, Matt Flynn. I didn't see Matt Flynn many times in Green Bay with his uniform out on the field playing because Aaron Rodgers stayed on the field and never got hurt. But here he is, the Seattle Seahawks, and we'll find out if this guy is an elite quarterback or not. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Here's a look at the offensive unit. It needs to get off to a strong start today. Second and eight. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The pass doesn't find a mark. And here's a look at the defensive line that will try to control the trenches today. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. Looking to the right side and throwing. That ball has been picked off. He's in the clear. It's a touchdown. What a catch. What an interception. And not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Ah, oh, shoot. That, that gets close to making them quit. of the extra point. And the point after is good. And after that extra point, the Redskins are leading by seven. Redskins ready for action. That's a touchback. First down, offense ready for the snap. They feed the running back. Second down coming up. They send the tight end in motion. Eyeing that left side. 
staying with them stride for stride, and the pass is incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. The defense comes out in the nickel. Third down and 11. Going across the middle. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Banks will try to return this one. Nifty move past the defender. He emerged as a star for coach Art Riles at Baylor. Went on to win the Heisman and come into the league as a first round pick. Quarterback Robert Griffin III. Here is RG3. Robert Griffin III, even if he couldn't run, will be a success in the NFL because this guy can throw the football. Offense lines up here. First and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Jim, that time the quarterback had such great pass protection. I, I swear, I think you could have gone out there and completed that one. No, maybe not. Nickel formation here for the defense. First down and 10. They hand it off to the running back. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in punches. And the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Earn free pizza fast with Papa Rewards at PapaJohns.com. Offense lines up here. Second down and nine. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Knocked out of bounds. Number 49 on the carry. Game of eight on the play. This is third down. Right back to him one more time. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job of knowing the situation on the offensive side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. Offense lines up here. The play clock's running down. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Has the reception all alone. And he's knocked out of bounds. As we get a look at the defensive starters, these linebackers will be counted on today to make plays in the running and passing games. They bring in an extra defensive back. Easy, easy kill, kill. Go. Second down and seven. They give it to the running back. Gets past the first wave. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest.
15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back, folks. We're getting set for the start of the next quarter. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And that's a gain of nine. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards. So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and short. Ball is snapped and scores the touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. The players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. The Redskins getting set for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. Following the extra point, the Redskins lead by 14. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Down. The Seahawks getting ready now to start their drive. First down here. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. London Fletcher makes the tackle. <laughs> After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's shifting to their left. Working that left side. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. On the way, third down. Steps back to throw. The quarterback throws to the right. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. They're in punting formation. Banks will try to return this one. They bring him down at the 41-yard line.
First down coming up. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Now first and ten. The give to the running back. Number 29 with the carry. Loss of one. Extra DBs all over the field. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Nickel formation for the defense here. Second down and 11. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Defense wraps him up. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Offense lines up here. Green on yet! Green on yet! Come on, D! Come on, D! Third and short. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That catch will keep the drive alive. Well, the quarterback's just too worried about his stats. So he throws that short pass, picks up a couple yards instead of throwing it down the field. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Easy, easy kill, kill. Easy. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. The ball's deflected incomplete. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. The defense comes out in the nickel. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Scrambling out of the pocket. The reception easy, wide open. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Third and four coming up following that completion. Over, over, over. The wide receiver in motion. The formation here, shotgun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Makes the move and gets around the defender. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Well, it was man-to-man -man coverage. Bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow. No chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. Play number six coming up on this drive. Drop back. Shotgun formation. Trying to work that left side. Runs out of bounds. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. 
The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Out of the gun. And he wants to Washington in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL, you know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job by the offense getting that extra touchdown. The Redskins getting set for the extra point. Extra point is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. to a halt. They come to the line and it's first down. They'll go ground. Going to be a tackle for a loss. So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this. We're back here now in this one where the Redskins lead by 21. A good first half of action, and Phil, break it down for us. I'll tell you what a halftime lead does to a professional athlete. You go in there, it gives you tremendous confidence. You go, well, we just whipped their rear end for one half. There's no reason why we can't go out there in the second half and continue to get it done and win this game. And the ref has thrown a flag. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. A miserable place to start this next drive. First down and 10. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. And picks up maybe three or four. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That's second down coming up. They better hurry to get the snap. This is a five-step drop back. That ball is going the other way. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open. 
Tries to force the pass and look, what's it turn into an interception? Nobody but the quarterback in the backfield here. First and ten. Running away from the sack. The defense gets a sack. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? They'll go shotgun here. Makes the catch in the open field. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. from inside the red zone. Third down and one. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. A little dime package here for the defense from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Play number six coming up on this drive. Playing press coverage to the outside. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's spreading out. I think they're going to try to pressure the quarterback. Incomplete. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Trying to work the middle of the field. Once again, they failed to convert here. They've had such a tough time on third down today. Chip shot here. And he puts it through for three. That was a good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff.
He's brought down at the 23-yard line. The Redskins are getting set for their next possession. It's a two-tight end formation. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Now first and ten. The quarterback, Brandon Browner with the interception. They pounce on him there. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The defense comes out in the nickel. Well, look at this. The defensive front suddenly moving to the right at the last moment. Set up screen. That brings the play to an end. You got to know how to protect yourself when you make a catch and the hit comes low. You got to give way, get those feet off the ground, take the hit, and go down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Second down and five. Looking across the middle, secures it with two hands. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welcome back. We've got a blowout in the making. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. London Fletcher makes the tackle. Jim, the coaches tell us the same thing every week about defenses. Can we hold them to field goal tries and not give up the touchdowns? Here we are. They got more than a seven-point lead. Can you hold them till field goal try? Well, we'll find out. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The D-line shifts to the right, tosses it to the running back. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? The offense ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity from the red zone. Third and six. Toss to the outside. Play number six coming up on this drive. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. This is going to set up a change of possession. That was a terrible job that time by the offense. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Uh, the play is there. The players just did a terrible job of executing.
the Redskins getting set now for their next series. Nickel formation here for the defense. The quarterback's calling something out. First and ten. To the ground here. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Coming up, second down. Easy, easy, kill, kill. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. What? Staying on the ground. They go to the right side. And he's pushed out of bounds. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Now third and four following the run. Go. Quarterback drops back, play action. Going across the middle, squeezes it into coverage. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You gotta be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Two minutes to go in the second half. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. First down and 10. Looking down the field. Oh my gosh, when you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? The defense got to the quarterback, and the offense is backed up here on second down. From the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. This is just a good example of how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. To throw it to these wide receivers short, we can see they're able to take short passes, break tackles, and with their talent, they get long gains. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. From the gun. 
challenging the defenders to the right side, and it's knocked down. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. The Seahawks come onto the field for their next series. No margin for error here with the offense. Three-step drop. Seahawks now moves the chain. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throw. London Fletcher makes the tackle. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Second down coming up. This is not what you would call airtight coverage at the snap of this ball. Gains 16. They face first down. The D-line all talking. I think they're expecting run. That's why they're shifting to their left. Incompletion on that hurry throw. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. It's now second down. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. He's fumbled. They bring him to the turf. Well, that time the offense fumbled the football, but the defense hit him so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground and the defense recovers. The Redskins ready to take over the football. They come to the line of scrimmage and an excellent starting point. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Now first and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Knocked away, incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Second down here. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he'll step out of bounds. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing his man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver leading to the open space. Nice completion. This play will most likely be the last of the game. First and ten. The quarterback throws to the right, reaches in, knocks it away. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. This will be the final snap. Second down and ten. 
He'll throw it over the middle. Ball is batted down. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. Gatorade, dominate the fifth quarter. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. It's been a game we'll always remember. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, so glad to bring it to you.